Hi everyone! In this series of videos, I'll be sharing tips and tricks to help you get the most out of Rival Stars horse racing. In this beginner tips video, I'm going to give you some pointers on breeding foals to help you breed your dream horse. Foals are the cutest thing in Rival Stars horse racing. Did you know you can tap on a newborn foal to pet them? Here are some tips on raising them. There are 10 grades of horses, one being the lowest and 10 being the highest. The time it'll take for your foal to arrive depends on the grade of the parents. You can have up to four foal stalls in your stable, so you can breed four horses at once, as long as they're from different mares. You can upgrade your stalls to speed up breeding and to breed higher grade foals. Higher grade horses can be trained to higher levels and have way better stats. However, it's a good idea to keep one or two stalls at a lower tier so you can still breed lower grade horses. This will allow you to enter more live events. Horses have different stats for racing and riding. The higher these numbers, the better they'll do in races and cross country. These stats are also affected by the horse's grade. Try to breed mares and stallions that have higher grades and stats because these will be passed on to their babies. Horses have three preferences that affect how they race. Distance, track surface and position. A foal is likely to inherit these preferences from their parents so keep that in mind when breeding. Your horse's coat is determined by three traits. Colour, dilution and pattern. A horse has visible genes for each trait. These are visible in their appearance. However, they also have hidden genes. These can be discovered through breeding or research. That's why two foals from the same parents can look very different. A foal will inherit a mixture of its parents' visible and hidden genes, so it could take a few tries to breed the horse that looks exactly the way you want. The head marking and eye colour, however, are not inherited from its parents, so this will always be a surprise. I hope these tips help you get started with breeding in Rival Stars horse racing. Let me know in the comments what your dream horse would be. Stay tuned for more tips, coming soon.